The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A. College Academy High takes on Stoneman Douglas High tonight on School Duel. <laughs> I'm Lisa Lee, and welcome to School Duel, where 16 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And of course, the winner gets to walk away with school trophies from Edco, championship rings from Herf Jones, $200 gift certificates from Ikea, a $1,000 check for each student, courtesy of Chick-fil-A, and of course, we have so much more. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, the second round game matches the College Academy High School versus Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in what is going to be quite a showdown. I heard a lot of smash talking in background before, so let's see how it goes. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the semi-final round. How about that, guys? Yeah. But wait, everyone, there is so much more because during the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich meals for an entire year. How's that sound, everyone? Yeah. All right, good. But before we get started, let's go ahead and take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Let's start with Broward College Academy. We're so happy to have you here, College Academy. We have Justin Daniel, a senior. Zachary Wright, a senior as well. Yeah. All right. A lot of energy, right, Issa? Let me try. Chinny Chawala? Chinny Kamwala. OK, I was kind of close. I apologize. All right, and then, and you are a senior and, of course, the captain of Broward College Academy's team. He's back. It's Abia Abia. And you're a senior as well. Let's go ahead and meet your competitors. And they are from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. They are the Eagles. Welcome. <laughs> we have Pratik Nagaraj. I got it right, right? Yes. All right. And you are a junior. Welcome. We also have Yuji Wu, senior. We have Amy Huang, a senior. And the captain of Douglas team, he's back. Oh, yeah. It's Kevin Liu, a senior. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Again, we're happy to see you. Our first round is called the warning shot. Now, here, it's school against school, competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Each question is worth 10 points. And if a question is incorrect, the other school gets one chance to steal the points. All right, schools, prepare for the warning shots. First question deals with lakes. What extensive inland body of water has been called America's Dead Sea? Kevin. Great Salt Lake. Correct. Good job. Perimeters. What is the perimeter of a nonagon if each side is seven centimeters? Yes, Abia. 63. 63 is correct. Next question is voting. Someone with a summer home in New Hampshire, a winter home in Arizona, a business in both Vermont and New Mexico could be a registered voter for a national election in how many precincts? Abia. Two. Incorrect. Soman Douglas, would you like to steal it? Kevin? Three. Incorrect, guys. The answer is one. You're only allowed to vote in one precinct. All right, we're going to move on to abbreviations. Let's see how good you are with this. Spell the abbreviation for the Latin phrase, which means and so on. Yes, Abia. E.G. Incorrect. Stoneman, Kevin? E.T.C. E.T.C., which also means et cetera. Very good, guys. Baseball, a pitcher was well into his windup and practically ready to throw when he had to sneeze and then stepped off the mound. He committed what infraction? No one? All right, it's called a balk. That's your sports for you. Moving on, we're going to have injuries. Muscle is to strain as ligament is to what? Abia. Tear. Incorrect. Stoman? Prathi? Pull. 
Incorrect. It's sprain. All right. My favorite part of the show. It's time for the Where Am I question. And that's brought to you by Spirit Airlines, home of the $9 fare. All right, guys. Now we're going to switch it up a little for you this time. The winner of this actual question is going to win two tickets to anywhere Spirit Airlines flies. How's that sound? Yeah, all right, all right. So you guys are going to be given a famous location and a clue, and then you're going to be asked to tell us the name of the place being described. Is everyone ready? This memorial, located in Washington, D.C., is dedicated to one of the United States founding fathers. He was the country's Kevin. Is a memorial? Correct. Very good job. Ah, air high five. You have won those Spirit Airline tickets. I'm free, like, in the summers, if you want to. We want to fly somewhere. Oh, I'm afraid yeah. of heights. Oh, okay. okay, no, okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move along. We do have legs for the next question. How many pair of legs do exactly 10 healthy grasshoppers have? Kevin. 60. Incorrect. College Academy. Avia. 40. Incorrect, guys. Very close, though. The answer is 30, and I'll tell you why. All insects have six legs or three pairs, and since a grasshopper is an insect, 10 of them have 30 pairs combined. All right, moving along. Musicals. According to the song from Disney's Snow White, what are you supposed to do while you work? Abia? Whistle. Correct. Can you whistle? Oh, ooh, all right. <laughs> All right, moving along. Insect metamorphosis. Cocoons are made of what substance, which is also used for some clothing? Silk. Yes, Zachary. Oh, silk. Silk, very good. All right, good job. Oh, there's that buzzer, everyone. Do you know what that buzzer means? Yeah, well, it's the end to the it's the end to the warning shot round. Now we have a tie. Stoneman Douglas thirty, College Academy thirty. But don't worry, guys. We'll be right back. So someone can go ahead and take the lead. We'll be right back after these messages. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Team Member Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Changed to the Leadership Scholarship Program in 1996, Chick-fil-A has awarded over $20 million in scholarships to team members who are active in their schools and communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess strong leadership abilities, good teamwork, and a desire to succeed. Chick-fil-A is dedicated to its people and education. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Have you considered taking your high school courses online? Broward County Schools offers free virtual education for middle and high school. Courses include regular, honors, and advanced placement in all subject areas. Take one course or take a full course load all online. Broward Virtual Education welcomes homeschool and private school students. For more information or to enroll, call us at 754-321-1100 or visit us online at www.bbed.net while there's still space available. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Hello everyone and welcome back to School Duel, our first round of action ended with a tie between Marjorie Stoneman Douglas and the College Academy. They each have 30 points. But don't worry, guys, there's much more to come as we enter round two, the joust. Here, one player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a 10-point toss-up question. The school that wins then gets three bonus questions worth five, and then 10, and then 15 points. So, schools, you ready? Yeah. All right, it's time to joust. All right, we have Abia and Kevin up first. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. In one of the closest elections in our country's history, George W. Bush won the presidency over Al Gore in 2000. The election was noteworthy for a, controversial, a controversy over the awarding of 25 electoral votes from this state. Kevin. Florida. Florida. Good job, Stoneman Douglas. That was a close call there. All right, here we go, Stoneman Douglas. All these questions are for you. The following bonus questions deal with elections. Bonus question number one is worth five points. An entrant in a political contest who is not, 
who was not previously mentioned as a candidate, is often referring to as what, Pratik? A black horse. Correct. Very good. Black horse or dark horse as well. Bonus question number two is worth 10 points. The framers of the Constitution were hesitant to allow the president to be elected directly by the people. They devised what system by which Americans... Yes, Kevin? The Electoral College. Correct. The Electoral College. And that's the system in which Americans vote for a limited number of people who then in turn cast their votes for presidents. All right. Bonus question number three. 15 points. Even though Alexander Hamilton disagreed with Jefferson's ideas, he supported Jefferson in the presidential election of 1800 because he did not want the other candidate to be elected. Who was the other candidate? Kevin. Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr, correct, good job, all right. Amy and Raisa, come on down, it's time for your turn to joust. Go ahead and shake hands and let's get this party started. Here we go. Here are your toss-up questions worth 10 points. John Gay composed what opera named after the hero of the Iliad who was invulnerable except for a small area on the back of his foot? Yes, Raisa. Achilles. Achilles, very good. All right, College Academy with the steal. Here we go, the following bonus question all deal with opera. Bonus question number one, worth five points. In what opera is a nasty witch turned into gingerbread after being pushed into an oven? Yes, Abiyam. Hansel and Gretel. Correct. Bonus question number two, worth 10 points. Richard Wagner's opera, The Flying Dutchman, is about what kind of doomed craft? Abia? A ship. Correct, a ship. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. Operas began with an introduction play by the orchestra alone. This introductory piece is called the what, Raisa? The Overture. Overture, very good, good job. Way to rack up your points. All right, now we have Yuji and Zachary. Come on down, it's time to joust, young men. Here are your toss-up questions worth 10 points. Name the sugar-rich liquid produced by flowers that attract pollinating animals. All right, I'll give you guys one more opportunity. The answer to that is nectar. Here's your extra question. Sugar can be commercially extracted from two different plants. One is sugar cane, the other is sugar from... Corn. Yes, Zachary. Corn. No, incorrect. Would you like to try, Eugene? Wheat. Say it again. Wheat. Wheat. No, incorrect. It's actually beet. All right. We're going to have to skip these questions that all dealt with sugar. It's all right, guys. All right. Pratik and Justin, come on down. It's your opportunity for the joust. Here are your Here's your toss-up question. We're 10 points. Name this person who was neither a Republican nor a Democrat, and even though he had no formal education, he was the only president to be unanimously elected and became the first president of the United States. Yes, Justin. George Washington. George Washington is correct, College Academy. You'll have the last set of questions for this round. The following bonus question I'll deal with George Washington. Bonus question number one, of course, is worth five points. George Washington was referring to a terrible winter in what location when he wrote this? Uh, his um, his resolution speech or his resignation speech. No, incorrect. The question um, continued when he wrote this quote: "You could you could tell where the army had been by the blood of their feet on the snow and its valley forge." All right, moving along. Bonus question number two is worth ten points. Time to redeem yourselves. Here you go. Complete this quote by George Washington: "Quote to be prepared for war is one of the most effectual means of preserving." Finish it, Zachary. Peace. Yes, correct. Good job. Yeah, you feel good, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. George Washington spent his final days on what estate? Raisa. Uh, Vermont estate? No, oh, incorrect. It's actually Mount Vernon. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There's the buzzer, and that means the end to the joust. Let's go ahead and take a look at our points. We have College Academy with 90 points. Douglas, you're right behind them with 70. It's going to be a tight game, I can already tell. We're going to be right back with more school duels, so don't go anywhere just after these messages. <laughs> Win 50 bucks from School Duel and Bright Star Credit Union. It's easy. Go to schoolduel.tv, submit the correct answer to the Bright Star Question of the Week, and you're automatically entered into the drawing to win a $50 Visa gift card. You can also vote for the player of the game on schoolduel.tv. A new winner is announced each week based on your votes, and all votes lead to the top player of the season. 
visit SchoolDuel.tv. Everyone is welcome to play and vote. Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Parents and students, wake up every school day with Before the Bell, an informational show providing the 411 on what's happening that day in Broward Public Schools. The show includes lunch menus, community and school calendars, and everything else you need to know for a great day. Before the Bell can be seen every school day starting at 6.30 a.m. right here on Beacon TV. Invest in yourself. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school dual champion. Now, this second round match has Broward College Academy High competing against Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. We have the College Academy leading with 90 points. Stoneman Douglas is right behind them with 70 points. Now we're ready for the rapid fire round. Here, each school will pick a category. They will then try to answer 10 questions from within 60 seconds from that category. Each question is worth 10 points. The other school will then get a chance to steal any missed questions. Now, since Douglas is trailing, they will have the opportunity to pick their category. Today's topics are the war to end all wars, and here we go again. So, which category would you like, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas? The war to end all wars. The war to end all war. All right, school, here comes the rapid fire. All right, the war to end all wars. This category deals with questions about World War I. Remember, you have 60 seconds to answer these questions worth 10 points each. I'm gonna cue music now. What country was the last major military power to enter World War I? United States. The First World War was fought mostly on what continent? Europe. World War I ended in 1918 on the 11th hour of the 11th day of what month? November. Modern chemical warfare began in World War I when what country began using chlorine gas offensively? Germany. Name the long, narrow, zigzagging ditches dug by soldiers on the front lines. Trenches. Name the organization intended to maintain world peace after World War I? League of Nations. Prior to World War II, the First World War had what other name? The Great War. What major revolution began in Eastern Europe about the same time that the U.S. entered the First World War? Bolshevik Revolution. James Flagg is mainly remembered for his World War I recruiting poster bearing the words, I want you, and, and in his image of what character? Uncle Sam. In World War I, what neutral country was adjacent to Italy, France, Germany, and Austria-Hungary? Switzerland. Good job. You guys got through all the questions. Wow. I must say, job well done, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. You guys got them all right. So College Academy, there's nothing for you to steal. However, I do have some questions for you. For the here we go again. Now this following category contains questions about World War II. Each question is worth 10 points and you have 60 seconds to answer them. So, cue music, here we go. The last major offense by the Germany army in World War II was called the Battle of the? Obvious. Bulge. What was the name of the military leader who commanded the Normandy invasion in World War II? Abia? Amno. What Jewish Dutch girl is famed for her writing in Amsterdam during the Second World War? Abia? Anne Frank. During World War II, what country built the Spitfire aircraft? Britain. Allied troops stormed ashore in what country on D-Day? Normandy. The troops, and suppliers, the troops and supplies involved in Operation Overlord had to be transported across what channel? English. Okay. What was the first city to be devastated as a direct result of the Manhattan Project? Uh, Nagasaki. VE Day occurred in May of 1945. For what does the E stand in this phrase? Abia. Embarkment. Name the two American presidents who held office during World War II. Uh, FDR and Taft. Okay. Good try, guys. All right, now, Stoneman Douglas, you guys have the opportunity to steal the questions that they got incorrect. So here we go. What was the name of the military leader who commanded the Normandy invasion in World War II? Yes, Pratik. Eisenhower. Correct. 
Allied troops stormed ashore in what country on D-Day? France. UG? Correct. What was the first city to be devastated as a direct result? Yes, Prathik. Hiroshima. Hiroshima, and that was as a direct result of the Manhattan Project. Very good. VE Day occurred in May of... Okay. Europe. <laughs> yes, Europe. What did the E stand for? Yes. Good job. Name the two American presidents who held office during World War II. Amy? FDR and Truman. Very good. All right, guys. Good job. And there is my famous buzzer. And that means the end of the rapid fire round. We have Marjorie St Stoneman Douglas. Wow, what a comeback. 220 points. You are leading now. College Academy, you have 130 points. Let's go ahead right now and give these guys a short break. And then we will return for the final showdown. Keep it tuned in. <laughs> In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Team Member Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Changed to the Leadership Scholarship Program in 1996, Chick-fil-A has awarded over $20 million in scholarships to team members who are active in their schools and communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess strong leadership abilities, good teamwork, and a desire to succeed. Chick-fil-A is dedicated to its people and education. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Are you interested in learning about TV production? Be a part of the Briar Teen News Team, South Florida's only teen-produced news show. Experience working at an actual TV station while learning on state-of-the-art digital equipment. We offer positions in everything from studio crew to school reporter. And for the more experienced students, we offer advanced credits as part of our internship program. If you're a student in Broward and you want to be a part of our team, then we've got a spot for you. For more information, go to www.browardteennews.org and click on Join Our Team. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. With more school duel, we've got a great second round match going. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas stole the lead. They now have 220 points over the College Academy, who has 130 points. Now it's time for the final showdown. Now this is the very last round. Schools will go against each other with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points. And remember, if a question is incorrect, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, are you ready? All right, it's time for the final showdown. First question deals with leader synonyms. In Italy, the title of premier is synonymous with what other title for an executive government official like in Great Britain? Abia? Prime Minister. Correct, very good job. Legends, who was the central character in the legends that inspired these lines? Listen carefully. Friar Tuck and Little John are writing, yes, Kevin. Robin Hood. Robin Hood is correct. Very good. You knew that immediately. Capitals. The Congress, the Congress of what country meets in Valparaiso rather than the capital of the city of Santiago? Yes, Prathik. Chile. Very good, Chile. Novels. What novel begins with this? Quote, in a certain corner of La Mancha, the name of which I... Yes, Kevin. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Very good. All right, moving along. State biology. Using the initials of the three continental Pacific Coast states south of Alaska, you can spell the name of what bovine animal, Kevin? Cow. Very good, and that stands for California, Oregon, and Washington. All right, guys, my favorite part, it's the Who Am I question, brought to you by Huntington Learning Centers, America's tutoring providers. Now, in this question, you'll be given up to four clues about a famous person and asked to tell us who that person is. So are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. In 1964, he became the youngest person to receive the Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize. He married Coretta Scott on June 18, 19, Abia. Martin Luther King. That is correct, Dr. Martin Luther King. Again, he was born on June 18th. No, he married Coretta Scott on June 18th, 1953. Very good job. All right, moving along. Dramatic revenge in what Shakespearean play does a prince of Denmark seek to revenge his father's Hamlet. Justin? Yes, very good. He was seeking his, the revenge of his father's death. Moving along, mixed meanings. Named after a famous Austrian psychiatrist, what's another name for an accidental double? Yes, Kevin. Freudian slip. 
Freudian slip, that's correct. Military abbreviations. Private Baker sneaked away without permission from Fort Benning to participate in the Gala Georgia Greek Girls Gathering. What abbreviation refers to Baker's time away? Abia? AWOL. AWOL, which also means absent without official leave. Correct. Moving along, geometric solids. What geometric solid is a special case of a prismatoid in which all but one of the vertices form the base polygon? Abia. A pyramid. Correct, a pyramid, very good. The solar system, here we go. What heavenly body is 930 times the distance from the Earth to the moon, a distance equal to 93 million miles? Abia. The sun. The sun is correct, very good. Oceanographic abbreviations. If AABW stands for Antarctic bottom water, for what does AASW stand? Kevin. Antarctic surface water. Correct, very good. Heat transfer. Convection can only occur in two states of matter. Name one of them. Abia. Liquid. Very good. Liquid or gas. Good job. Liquid measurements. How many ounces are in two cups? Abia. 16. 16. Very good. Science milestones. Who is this about? On a starry night in 1610 in the city of Padua, Italy, he pointed his newly handmade telescope skyward. Eugene. Galileo. Galileo. Very good. Government, an American citizen who purposely acts to aid enemies of his country has committed, Abia? Treason. Very good. Oh, ooh, that sound is my famous buzzer, and that brings an end to this round of School Duel as Douglas held on to beat College Academy with a score of 360 points to 310. But amazing job, everyone. Good job. Give a hand clap for you guys. All right. Now, this puts Marjorie Stone McDouglas into the semifinal round. Congratulations, everyone. Awesome. Great job to everyone. It also brings an end to the Chick fil A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll, please, Kevin. Congratulations, Kevin. All right, so you are going to win. Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich meals for a year. We want to thank all of our sponsors at this time for making School Duel possible. And please make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Monday at 7 p.m. as Wellington High School takes on Park Vista High in another exciting second round match. And don't forget to visit our website where you can win prizes as well. Go to schoolduel.tv. Good night, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A.